exactly how it is. Projectiles thrown all over the screen and just be like, you know, a mess. Fire hydrants being used and what, honestly, like, Caleb Fish for keys for kills. We're gonna see some who's got the big brain plays, and that's gonna decide who got the set. And good like, neutral, I guess. One, it's like well, that's, that's not a good way to start it. Ooh. Bortai didn't have a jump there. Yeah, he could, but he's at 70%, so he's in trouble. And now he's frozen, and now he's dead. That's, that's a that's how that's a great way to start the set. Let me tell you. Honestly speaking, like you know, like Caleb is just commanding the space. Using all of like those Jackman has in the Like you have fruit that like, you can just throw all over. Like, Bowtie was really good at getting that uh up the uh up air into uh when I was playing friendlies, and he just kind of missed that. That's uh unfortunate. Honestly, though, but, like you know, Caleb knows like the properties of all these different fruit. Like knowing how each fruit works and look. He also knows what he's trying to fish for at any point in time. Like, he could be looking for the bell, he could be looking for a key, he could be looking for the Galaga. He might be even looking for just, like, you know, the melon. And it's like, all of the different fruits that he's able to just kind of throw out, it's just like, he knows how to command the space and play around his projectiles. But, like, and even if you're a good, like, you know, Toon Link, like, if you're a good Link of any kind, who knows how to play around the projectiles, will that matter if all your projectiles are like less projectiles than the ones that you're fighting. Uh, I'll tell you what, Bowtie can pull out some uh, projectiles. He he's been doing it a little bit. He uh, did got a good 90% on or oh, 114 now on uh, Caleb. He, Caleb also has him at 90. Ooh, he ooh. needed to tech that. He needed to tech that. That was unfortunate. Now he's on three to one. Now it's really one, tough Caleb's after this point. Caleb's already at 119, but like he's well within kill percentage. And, uh, the longer that Caleb is able to rack up damage on Bowtie, the more of a lead he's just going to get. Ooh. Oh wow, that was a cool like, grab. Like he with the terror grab, but like at the same time, like you know, both I could have definitely ran in and grab, grabbed him out of that. Like, you can't jump into the uh I know you can't jump into it, but at the same time, like when it was retracting, you could have ran up and grabbed. Like that is true. Dash grab. 147%. He Ooh, has to get nice these. Parry oh. into a what back air. Yeah, that was a back air. He had, he didn't have a lot of choices, but uh he tried his best to try and give him by like, you know, using his recovery against them, but that doesn't necessarily always work because after that third hit, if you touch it again, you're going into the blast. Right. 84% on Bowtie, 160 full rage on Caleb. Bowtie really has to get this first stock, but I'm not gonna lie, it's not looking like it's mattering it's too not much. Looking really good, but at the same time, he's already at 109%. The kid's Bowtie still sitting at 160. And the hydrant. That was a really cool setup. Bowtie's still in this though. And no, he's not. Oh, and he's killing him with the foot. It just what the bell just for like you know style on him. Just style. He's just like he did the kick flip. He's like put his right foot in and then he put his right foot out and then he did the hokey pokey and he turned himself around. Well, well, you did the hokey pokey. Now you got the dead link. Yep, and now you got it, and you now you got a three stock, and uh, now it's game two. And we're going back to PS2. Okay. Uh, honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think at the stage point, had much think, to do with it. At this point, I think we're going to just rename Oak Smash to Oak PS2. Oak PS2. <laughs> <laughs> because that's all we've been seeing today. Like, we saw Kello you know, yeah, we one saw time, mm. and that was it. Interesting. Well, what was funny is you guys were talking about the uh, counter pick the second game, and you were both like, well, you should pick FD or Kalos. Those are the two things he banned. And I'm just like, I, that's where I wanted to go to, guys. Honestly, <laughs> thinking about, like, you know, like, I was just talking with Gable, like, you know, at, like, earlier in the tournament, like, he said that, like, there's some games that he would definitely, like, there's some, like, uh, stages he would like to play on. Like, one of the ones he's, like, is, like, you know, uh, Lila isn't that bad, but at the same time, I'm a Lila hater. I'm, like, if you take me to Lila, like, well, you wouldn't take me to Lila. I'm banning it. <laughs> I don't hate Lila. You know the, you know what the stage I hate is? What? It's that rocket ship one, whatever it's called. Oh, is it like that? No, that's a... Uh, yeah, the one where it's like, you know, slightly curved. Yeah, no, I was thinking, I was thinking you were talking about Kalos. I always ban yeah, Lila, no. too. I always ban Lila. I don't... I, Lila. I actually try so to get a ban for this team. Oh, oh, 100%. Good. Uh, I we're actually, all on the same page. We're both the TO. I'm, I'm the TO for this, and I wanted to get a ban for this one, but I, did, I don't know if it ended up happening. I didn't check the sheet of paper, Dude. so... Like, I like this too too much. Wait, trying to get Kalos banned is like trying to unban Duck. <laughs> and I'm not talking about, like, the yellow character, like... You know, we're talking about stages right now, and Caleb's already taking his first stock, you know, keeping it, like, real simple and clean. Keep, like, he, they were both at 100, and we honestly weren't even paying attention there. That is true, but uh, I'll tell you what. He's not doing as bad this game. He's uh, 112%. Like, uh, he just does get this kill. 
one up smash, one uh, forward smash, any, any smash attack really, uh, as a good setup, a good forward air, anything could really get this uh, Kale up to uh, second stack. Or I'm even, thinking, like, you could even use the Hydrant to get them, but the Hydrant has to, like, you know, not push him out the way first. Right. He's got to use his projectiles to his advantage. Oh, Ooh, nice parry against the Galaga so that he doesn't get carried to off by it. He got the good in there. Got to get sniped, but, like, you know, he was trying to... Oh, good down there. He just yep. has to get them one more hit. One more good hit, and he's good from the stock. Yes. I, I hope Caleb doesn't take advantage of this. Caleb is probably going to find a way to push his advantage, but he's at 151. Anything that he does, he has to be very careful. Yeah, he's got full rage. He definitely has to worry about it, but uh, I think he's going to be more trying to keep his distance right now instead of going and attack. Honestly speaking, he's just trying to rack up the damage. Yes. And honestly, the he's more damage Caleb racks up, the further his advantage gets, and like I said last time. And just like, you know, you gotta be, just be careful. Getting hit by the orange twice. Okay, so I guess we should just have an orange counter because every time Kills lands an orange, like, you know, you gotta give him an orange. Yeah, man. He's getting his vitamin C today. Like, getting some vitamin C and getting some sunny D. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Ooh, and both sides are going for the snipe, but. Oh, was that on Techable? I couldn't even tell. Uh, that might have been Techable, but, like, I don't think it, like, Caleb has a reaction time to react, uh, react to that. Even I was looking at it, I was like, oh, he's yeah, dead. Then, yeah, yep, no, I, I instantly thought he was going to die too, but I didn't see the red mark around it, so he might have been able no, to uh, attack it. Oh, he saw it, then it, it, it wasn't, it was on tech ball. Nothing he could do. Okay, so he was at a high enough of the percentage where it's like, yeah, you're dying. <laughs> and, and the game said, you die today. You die, you're done. All right, you, you, find, you got enough extra credit at 90%, you're done. All right, so Caleb now bringing Bowtie up to 106. Let's try and see like, what he's going to do. Try to do... Trying to get a good read. Caleb is playing, I mean, uh, Bowtie is playing a lot better this game. He's being a lot more patient. He's using his projectiles better. He's not letting uh, him get it overwhelmed in an advantage state. He's keeping a solid neutral going, but he's getting he's getting hit. He's using his patience to kind of control the space and stage a lot better than when he than in the last game. Like, he's definitely, like, you know, learned the lesson. It's like, this is Pac-Man. You don't rush a Pac-Man. No, you know, yes. Like, the only time you rush a Pac-Man is if you have a character that's fast enough to rush Pac-Man. Not a lot of characters can do that. Top three fastest characters in the game, Little Mac, Captain Falcon, and Sonic. The only one of those three that actually would probably, you know, rush the Pac-Man is Little Mac. Right. And Little Mac, because Little Mac literally has to. Oh, that was a phenomenal forwarder to get that. Now he has a lead. That's all he Both, had to do. Both I now actually have oh, wait, no, he's, he's still good. No, he he's still good. Like, he could easily take this game, too. All he needs is, like, just to land some good hits. Last stock. Let's see, like even game. let's see how good Bowtie's uh, guts are. He's gonna have to. Uh, He's gotta get a good like combo in and like you know just rack up the damage fast and yep. then rack, rack yep. up the damage on him. Exactly. Get still that still one hit in order to keep the uh, momentum. Very much so. Still, anyone's game in every capacity about this. Like you just want to watch and see like what he's gonna be able to do. Bowtie's definitely trying to like go for a good edge guard here. He doesn't know that you can't really easily get Pac-Man. Like Pac-Man has one of the better recoveries in the game. Yeah, I think Bowtie has the disadvantage to Caleb because Caleb's definitely not nervous and Bowtie is definitely nervous right now. You can definitely like almost hear his heartbeat. Like, <laughs> I, can, like, I can hear it from here. Yeah, like, <laughs> you can hear it from three miles away, man. Like you can tell that, like his heart is racing. He's trying his best to like you know get some advantage, apply a lot more pressure, push his advantage, push like oh, whatever disadvantage you can out. And oh wow, side B into forward smash. That is not looking good for Bowtie that was right dash now. Ooh. Yeah, that was, was that dash attack? That, that was dash attack in the forward smash. Like, honestly, the pivot dash attack, the pivot forward smash, I was not expecting Caleb to just go out for it. And, like, honestly, it really worked in his advantage. It put, like, Bosa into a position that he's got to be very wary of. And Bosa oh, is now, missed that up there. Honestly, though, he definitely has the space to be able to, like, connect the second one. Grabbing one of Pac-Man's fruits was actually one of the best ways to just, you know, prevent him from doing it. Yes, and now he's at 83% against his 108. And, uh, but at least Caleb's in disadvantage. Ooh. Nair is that's gonna keep him. Let's see if we can get a game three going. That would be really cool. Honestly speaking, I am definitely rooting for both sides to take this. One, um, look, look, I don't, I don't want commentators bias, but I'm not gonna lie. I watch Caleb win way too much. I want both sides to get look, this. Man, I <laughs> too many games. I want him to like, you know, be humble slightly. Oh yeah, and Bowtie, brand new person to come. I haven't seen him at any other event. Are this is his time right now. 103, go 119. Throw, Let's like, go. He's trying to find a good Let's throw. go! Oh but man, Caleb, that up he didn't get Caleb him. Might still be able to come <gasps> back. He, he, he tech it. it. Oh, he's good. No, oh no. 
Yeah, he was able to escape the pineapple. Like, he knew what he was doing. He knew 127 to 129. This is a full even game. Back in the... Oh, no, it's not back in neutral. <gasps> He's still bringing it back. He's trying his best to just like confirm the kill. And, like Caleb is also waiting for it. That, now that now they're dead. both nervous. Now they're both nervous. Oh, that key, the key to success. Not gonna get it this time, but the next one will. He's trying to go for some fire hydrant setups to make sure that. Oh, the apple oh, kill! Wow, that was some really good execution. Bow tie, that was phenomenal. Like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Like man, like. Honestly speaking, like that was some really great performance out of both sides. Like he may have lost, but that he was an excellent.